This agreement includes a horrendous proposal regarding the estate tax, and that is a Teddy Roosevelt initiative. Teddy Roosevelt was talking about this in the early years of the 20th century. It was enacted in 1916, and it was enacted for a couple of reasons. Teddy Roosevelt and the people of that era thought it was wrong that a handful of people could have a huge concentration of wealth and then just give that wealth, transmit that wealth to their children. He didn't think that that was right. And boom, I see the video. Life of a Billionaire's Son. So what happens is, Big Boy Bobby releases a video on November 25th. Absolute viral hit. I mean, we're talking millions of views. You check this guy's social blade, it's off the charts. He's getting thousands of subscribers a day. At first I was like, oh, this guy just pulled a Ty Lopez. Here in my garage. He probably bought up all of the YouTube ad space. Knowledge. And now he's just force feeding the YouTube algorithm his video, but say it's legit. All right, guys, enough pitter patter, enough beating around the bush. Let's jump into this video. Who is Bobby? Basically, a little bit of a misfit kid. A kid who has everything. Bobby likes to live life fast. Fast cars, beautiful girls. Parties. Let's talk about the production of this video. First of all, talking in the third person kills the mood, kind of like this. Ashkara! Ashkara! 100% chance that you shouldn't do that. 150%. Or Vag for short. Let's find out some more about Bobby Misfit. My life hasn't always been like this. I was born in Australia and I was raised by a single mom because my parents were divorced at a very young age. My mother has to be the sweetest person I know in the world. Not having a dad around, I misbehaved a lot. She always saw me as a perfect child. So I got away with a lot more than I should have. This meant that I had to move to a lot of different schools. Ten to be exact. Ten schools. What did you do to get transferred around to ten different schools? Did you shit in your math teacher's mouth? Did you give the principal a rusty trombone? This is when he sold his company for $300 million. Then my life changed forever. Hey guys, does editing like this make me cool yet? My dad started getting a lot of nice things. We got a villa in Saint-Tropez and houses in Monaco. A home in London. Super yacht. Wait a second, what is a super yacht? Aren't all yachts inherently super? Doesn't their superiority over boats make them yachts in the first place? If a super boat is a yacht, then what is a super yacht? I'm confused. I'm genuinely confused. Private jet with our family name on the tail number. No, no, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do this. I've always hated how just because someone is born into a family of wealth, people automatically label them as a spoiled brat. No, when you do stuff like this, it makes you seem like a spoiled brat. Let's go. Let's go. Breathe. I've just been feeling really lost lately, you know? Yes, my dad has a private jet and I love flying in it. Yes, my dad has a mansion and cars, and I love making videos with them. Who wouldn't? But I have never pretended that those things were something that I earned, and I recognize that my dad is the one who worked hard for them. This is why I have the ambition to work hard enough to achieve a successful life of my own. I invented, invented being a potato and break the stereotype of all rich kids being lazy, spoiled, and relying on their trust funds. A lot of people ask me, you know, why have I started to work out now? Not because I want to get back in shape, it's because I want to be able to party more <laughs> and smoke more, <laughs> drink more. This video is a paradox. It is extremely hypocritical. Everything you do in this video requires a shit ton of money. In fact, you need a bottomless pit of cash to live the lifestyle that you do. Hold on, let me get this straight. You don't have a job, you fly around the world on a private jet and have a mansion in every single country that you land in, and you flaunt your destructive party lifestyle like it's no one's business. 
pretty hungover today. Pretty cool party. That was a cool one. Yeah, it was here tonight. Was here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could see why people feel bad for you. If I was gonna survive in this world, I needed two things. One, discipline. Two, friends in high places. So I was sent to one of the world's most elite boarding schools called Millfield. A school attended by countless athletes, bankers, CEOs, politicians, royalty, millionaires, even the pop star, Ella Eyre. And then there was me, a delinquent, rebel, outsider, misfit. This is some grade A delinquency going on. My virgin eyes can't handle this. This is actual madness. I bet the most badass thing that he did was jewel in the hallway. <laughs> Couldn't do that in school. <laughs> Ooh! Holy shit, this kid smokes bogues. Actual cigarettes. It was my last straw. Some of us decided that on my 18th birthday, we needed to skip school and go to the south of France to party. Casual, casual. Me and the boys going down to the French Riviera to do some ripping and tearing, if you know what I mean. Just some fucking ripping and tearing. Ripping and tearing. Mm. <coughs> Me and the boys in the French Riviera. What did I do for my 18th birthday? I don't even remember what I had for dinner last night because my brain is so fogged. When we got back, the whole school was talking about it and I was asked to leave, along with 25 others that week. 25? Ooh, 25 rebels on the loose? <sighs> I was finally free. Dude, you were already free. That's why you're acting like a misfit in the first place. You have fuck you money. With this much wealth, money takes on a different meaning. Designer clothing becomes part of your everyday wardrobe, Fancy cars become toys. Responsibility goes right out the fucking window. Eventually, you get sucked into a vicious cycle of one-upping your previous dopamine responses from these pleasures. And after some time, you become incredibly bored and seek validation on the internet. Instantly lose so much respect for your content. So, I started a YouTube channel. I also partnered with my best friend Brandon to create Candyland Productions in order to make a living out of something we love by creating films for brands and artists. I'm even going to be creating videos for the legendary musician, Julian Peretta. Who is Julian Peretta? Who is this man? Is this guy good? Does this guy slap? Should I add him to my Spotify playlist? Since Brandon and I also love fashion, we decided to create our own brand. What am I looking at here? What the fuck is a social collective? So the ending of this video is basically a slap in the face because one learns that this entire narrative is one big promotion for his upcoming clothing line albeit a rather cringy clothing line, but I'll let Bobby describe it to you guys. To me, it sounds like rich kid party clothes. One that represents the kind of kids we are. Misfits, delinquents, creatives, individuals, filmmakers, different, destructive, crazy, ragers. So that when you wear our clothes, it makes you feel like you're conveying a message of who you are. Although Bobby seems like a kind person at heart, the angle of his video just screams douchebaggery. Now, here's the important point, Mr. President that I think many people don't know, because I have to confess, my Republican friends and their pollsters and their language people have done a very good job. This is the so-called death tax. And I think all over America, people are saying, oh, this is terrible. I have $50,000 in the bank and I want to leave that to my kids. And, and, and the government is going to take 55% of that, 35% of that. What an outrage. So let us be very, very clear. This tax applies only, only, only to the top three-tenths of 1% of American families. 99.7% of American families will not pay one nickel in an estate tax. This is not a tax on the rich. This is a tax on the very, very, very rich. I moved to Europe. My dad started getting a lot of nice things. We got a villa in Saint-Tropez and houses in Monaco. A home in London. Super young.